In this video, I will demonstrate how I created the fabric in my list design. I started with importing my animation avatar and hands a stream, so that hands act as reference mesh and won't interrupt during simulation. For scarf, I start with rectangle shape and use pin function to shape the scarf around the head. Use W for pin function shortcut. Just the shape and the length of the skull. I start adjusting fabric physical properties. For more details, I advise to check out web manual from the official Marvelous Designer page. But basically, I adjust the stretching weft and warp parameters in conjunction with shear to express the wrinkle intensity. For my purpose, I have to increase the parameters for the elastic fabric. I lower the bending weft warp parameter, I increase the buckling ratio, the buckling ratio controls how much force is needed to easily bend fabric. Increasing the buckling stiffness controls the stiffness of the corner of the fabric. Use the density parameter to show the weight ratio according to each unit area. Now I move to creating sweater. It is always a good idea to start with a primitive shape for pattern and adjust later on. future sweater accurately.
shape and move on to creating sleeves. Use stitch to attach the top of the sleeve to the body and pins to attach the rest of the sleeve to the hand for correct stitching around the arm. Make sure to freeze the finished shape before moving to the next part of the outfit. In the end, adjust fabric properties. Details such as seams I use internal shape with fold seam lines and 180 degrees appears as a flat state. The internal line is folded towards the front of the pattern the closer the fold angle is to 0 degrees and is folded into back of the pattern the closer the fold angle is to 360 degrees. The intensity of the fold can be set by adjusting the fold strength values. The higher the fold strength values, the closer the fold is to the set angle. creating trousers. I import on the stream so it doesn't interact with simulation. Again, I start with creating a pattern. three times and stitch between a cell. areas like bent knees to make it lay around the leg, I adjust the seam line to unstitch part of the pattern. Place patterns briefly with pins where they should be. And then return the seam line to normal. fabric with physical parameters to adjust the appearance of the folds. Mm -hmm. 
Finally, I bring together the whole outfit and simulate it between itself. Next, I import it into ZBrush. Use outer groups with UV to break the patterns and groups. In the next video, I will demonstrate my technique of adding details to the fabric. I will discuss on what type of details I concentrate my attention and what gives the best realism effect.